What's going on everybody? Average Arcader here. Now I'm going to be doing a different type of playthrough. It's going to be a little bit of more playthrough and a little bit of a review on the map itself. Uh, I was very fortunate to get contacted by the developers of this map who helped me uh, by showing me where some of the uh, startup quests were. Uh, they're very awesome over there. We talked for a while. They really, it was really, really cool. Um, but they explained to me that the quest that I picked up was actually meant to be an in-game quest. They also told me that the best way to get coins is to go into all the houses and crack open all the different vases. That's one of the best ways to get actual coins. As you can see, I just found some. Now I've got nine. Uh, but he also gave me, he sent me the coordinates for some of the, uh, quests that he feels are good starter quests. And I felt like I would jump through and do all of them, showing you where the coordinates are, showing you where to get them. That way, if you're interested in playing this, you're able to get to the more easier ones. Now, I've already done the very first one, the city quest. That, the one, the very first one you pick up, everyone can do those. That one, it's not, it's the first one you find. So I don't, I didn't, I felt like I shouldn't have needed to show that one. But this is the second one he would, he recommended that I did. Um, so let's go ahead and get that and then what I'll do is I'll get this one done and then I'll jump to the other ones while uh, reviewing the map. something to reward you with when you bring it to me so I need to get him could you get me a new one so he wants a new Arnax I've got iron do I have wood he gave me wood so I've got to go to the marketplace Okay, we're back at the marketplace. He said we could trade the wood. Ah, gotcha. So you come to the market here, come to this guy and you can trade in this for the money to get an iron axe okay so there is things you can trade in for money wood that's an easy way to get money just going out collecting a bunch of wood and coming back it does require a lot <laughs> okay so that's one way to do it and this is a good start quest because it shows you how to make coins. Let me come back here. Let's head back to that guy. Okay, here we are. Now let's give him. Oh, thank you. I finally chopped some more trees while you were gone. I finally took the time to clean out my house. Found an old beacon. I'm sure you can make better use of it than I did. Interesting. 
Okay, well, we got a beacon now. Okay, what's the next quest he recommended? Okie dokie guys, I found the next one. It's right here just to help help you guys find it. The coordinates help, but because of how uh, vertical the city is, it's kind of hard sometimes to navigate through. So I'm trying to help with landmarks and coordinates. So here, I believe that's Zeus. Come down this way, over here, and then you'll find Uh, what is this called? Is this in the auditorium? Ah, uh, I know what this is called. Ah, uh, it's gonna bug me. Anywho, here is here is our next one uh, that they recommend that we try for uh, next. Actor Sob, oh no. Sniffs, <laughs> can you help me? I have an audition for a play in a minute, but my voice. has gone. If your voice is gone, how are you talking? <laughs> Just kidding. I heard tales of a powerful alchemist who lives in the caverns under the temple. I'm sure he can help. You could, could you please go and ask him for a potion to heal my voice? Okay, I can do that. Oh, look at that. They gave us a compass that points in the direction of where we need to go that is something that I did tell them I like that they added it, it helps somewhat it's still kind of hard because of the uh, verticality of the map but it still helps at least get us in the right direction okay guys I found the next step I just wanted to show you a little bit how to get it I'm gonna show you the coordinates too it's a little bit tricky it took me a while to figure out but this is the path you take in the beginning you have to come through here on that very first city quest but before you go up these steps which is what I normally did and then get lost again <laughs> when I came through here I was actually this actually wasn't even the right way for the city quest but uh, you have to come down here and the alchemist is over here. Now I had a really hard time finding this even with the um, coordinates because I was expecting him to be kind of on a path of some sort. I did not expect him to be here. <laughs> So here's how you, that's how you find them if anyone's having a problem. And here are the coordinates now to help you get here if you haven't been through this area before. Let's see what he has for us. Help the actor who lost his voice. Say, I'm missing some ingredients. What is this? Bring me one piece of rotten flesh. I have that. A spider eye, I don't have that. A bone, I'm sure you can find, okay. I haven't had to fight any spiders, so I don't have the spider eye, but I've got everything else. Yeah, I don't care about you guys. I don't want more rotted flesh, I want a spider eye. All right guys, I'll be back once I find a spider eye. Okay, everybody, I found a spider eye. Let's give it to him. Where else? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, This. Okay, there it is. Got it. All right. Now we need to head back to the opera singer. Okay, dokey. Here we go. We'll give him his potion. Awesome, he gave me an electro. Oh, dog, 
Zach Geek. I have no idea how much that is going to help us get around. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. That is a good quest to go ahead and get done, because now it's going to be a lot easier to get around. Okay, now what was... I think there was one more he recommended that we do. Okay, okay, guys, here is the next one. Just to show you where he's at. There's the harbor right over there. Where you can see the statue, the harbor, the marketplace over there. You just come that way, and then you'll find this guy. I think you, we think we passed him too when we we're doing the first quest that you get. So let's see what he wants. Stairs. Wait, oh no, I forgot the telescope. Would you, would you be so kind to retrieve it for me? I left it on the highest platform of the tallest tower of the temple. Hopefully you'll get a reward for helping me, my old bones. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a lot of walking. Ay, ay, ay. Alright guys. I will cut back once we've made it up there. <laughs> okay, guys, I made it up here, finally. Just to show you what type of climb you're talking about, okay? Uh, you pick up this quest somewhere around that area down there. <laughs> We're up top now. This is It's not hard to see the tallest place. It's just look up the tallest tower, figure out how to get there, climb all the way to the top, boom, you see it. It's right here. Now we gotta go back down to him, which would have been a long walk, but since we have an Electra, we can fly down to him. Now I know semi where he's at. Ay, ay, ay. Need to sleep. Take these coins. Oh, he gave us coins. Sweet. Let me sleep. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Holy moly. There's mobs everywhere. Yeah, I'm gonna find a place to sleep and then we shall. Oh, there we go. Head over to the next one. Okie dokie, guys. This guy is over by where that. Uh, it's on the way to where that other farmer was that we used. where we sold the wood to get him his iron axe. Uh, this guy's that way. Uh, let's see. Let me get up a little bit higher so I can show you guys. This path here takes you back towards the harbor and the market. And you just come through here. And here are the coordinates to them to help you out. Okay, let's see what he's got for us. He gave us some bread. Hey there, can you lend me a hand? I am running late and I need to deliver pita bread. Waiting the island big house. Oh, good. We have we can buy a ship. Okay, we've got coin. So let's go to the harbor and buy a ship, and then we can head out to this island. Mm -hmm. 
Okie dokie guys, we are back at the marketplace. We've got more than enough coins because a ship costs around 10. Oh wait, yeah, he's over here. Yeah. Trident, cow, <laughs> red stripes. This is just how they look. A uh, creeper. All right, let's go with trident. I like how it handles. Not bad. Okay, so I think we're heading here. picked up a ladder for some reason. I might have bumped it on that. Uh... Okay, yeah, we're going to this island here. Okay, they're not hard to control. You just have have the steering wheel on and he, it'll move forward. Take the uh, steering wheel out of here and you no longer keep going all right sweet let's keep doing this we're trying to find someone to give this bread to I'm guessing we're going to have to climb up. Yep. That's the only thing about the compass that they use. It, it just doesn't account for the verticality of the map. So you're going to get confused every now and then about where exactly you need to go. But it's not hard to figure it out. Here we go. What's up? Take these three tokens and have a good day. Right on. Okay, guys. Um. I think that was good to show you guys how to get everything started like that. I definitely wanted to show off that this map is really nice. Um, it's a little bit difficult to find these quests, which is why I'm very happy that the developer came to me and helped me by giving me the coordinates so that I could show you guys how to get the best start to the map. Now, I guess the best thing for you guys to do is to get in, try it, and just keep on going through. 
it's a really fun it's a fun map um but the uh developer of it said they've got a lot more coming a lot of them that'll be a little bit easier to get into which i'm very excited about so i'll definitely be keeping my eye on it like i said last time this studio clearly has a lot of potential there's a lot of skilled creative people there working on these maps and it definitely shows just in the beauty of the map of itself like let's go to creative just so i can show you this map a little bit more Like, it's very beautiful. The ships actually work well. I like how they work. If we were just going out and doing quests out in the islands, there would really be no problem with the navigation. But we have, you have to do a lot of quests inside the city, and the city itself, as you can see, is gorgeous. But that verticality makes it hard to navigate. <laughs> but again, this is something they know and that they're gonna work on in later projects. But still, I would definitely recommend still picking this up and going through this. It is a beautiful map. Like, even if this was just a custom spawn, I would say pick it up. It's just so nice. But there are quests in here to do. There are things to do. Can be a little bit hard to navigate, but it's still worth picking up. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed this. Mm little bit of like a tips and tricks slash help video slash review slash let's play <laughs> uh but definitely definitely give this a try if you kind of like the the flow of this i liked it like i said it's definitely worth checking out beautiful map and i will catch you guys later average arcader out <laughs>